After October, you would have thought that some hedge funds would have done really well, right? Because that's the goal. You're going to outperform the market when the market stinks. But investors have had a really difficult time, and investor withdrawals are accelerating. Yeah, this isn't a good market for hedge funds. People but shouldn't like to, it be? Isn't that the point? Not really. The chop that you see in this market, a lot of hedge fund strategies are based on momentum and trend. And while we've had a trend, it's a really choppy trend. And intraday and intraweek, the hedge funds get chopped up in this because essentially the, the computer focus, the algo programs can't keep pace with this. There's a quick blip up, the markets chase it. You're essentially a lot of times buying at the highs, selling at the lows, which obviously doesn't bode well for P&L. Although the macro funds have been doing kind of well, especially in the last which month with all of that volatility. They've been able sense. to sort mm -hmm. of ride this out, which is interesting given their track record of underperformance in the past couple of years. So you're, you're sort of seeing a reversal there. Because they were only down like 1.7%, I think. Uh, so you did. You wound up beating uh, the, the other benchmarks too. Uh, so then to look at it, do we need to look at like the whole 12 months kind of thing? Like, yeah, if you, look at really the, if, you, if you look at the broader trends over, over the last year, you've seen a very good trade of selling emerging markets, especially emerging market equities versus even U.S. or a, a, any equity base for, for that matter. If you look at the dollar trend, the dollar's been up, but there's a lot of chop in between. If you look at the bond trend, it's sell, sell, sell fixed income, yields have been going higher. All a really good, nice trend over 12 months, but on a weekly, daily, perhaps even a monthly basis, not an easy trade to, to hold on to if you get in at the wrong levels.